Good day to all of my fellow and future hobbyists out there. My name is Matthew and I am your BRS beginner guru. All we're gonna do right here, right now, is answer your top five questions all about Brightwell Aquatics Coral Amino. Question number one, how do you use Brightwell's Coral Amino? Brightwell recommends target dosing the corals directly and daily. Start by turning off your protein skimmer and leaving it off for at least 15 minutes after dosing. Put 20 drops of Brightwell's Coral Amino into a small container. Do not let the glass dropper come into contact with the aquarium water as it will contaminate the product and encourage it to decompose. Then using a small pipette or coral feeder, draw up the coral amino and discharge it a few inches upstream of the corals. Repeat as necessary for all of your corals, but do not exceed the daily max of 5 milliliters, 100 drops, per 50 gallons of aquarium water. If you don't want to target feed every day, you can also broadcast feed the tank as well. To do this, add 20 drops, which is approximately one milliliter, of coral amino daily to a high flow portion of your tank. And then once the 15 minutes has passed, you can turn your protein skimmer back on. Question number two, what does Brightwell Aquatics coral amino actually do? Amino acids are simple organic compounds that form the building blocks for protein. Free form amino acids, like those available in coral amino, are readily available for uptake by coral. So Brightwell's coral amino free form amino acids help with four things. They provide the building blocks for coral tissue in ideal ratios to encourage new tissue growth. They encourage new tissue growth in areas that were damaged due to fragging or propagation. Coral amino encourages growth by budding or fission. And lastly, free form coral aminos help encourage vibrant coloration. Question number three, can you overdose amino acids in a reef tank? The simple answer, yes, you can. The most likely result of overdosing will be cyanobacteria growth, which also likes to consume those free form amino acids. But most free form amino acids will be taken up directly by the corals. So as long as you follow the dosing instructions, you should be fine. But if you do notice some cyanobacteria starting to grow, or maybe some of your corals starting to brown out, then either reduce the amount you feed daily or reduce the frequency of feedings. Question number four, do corals need amino acids? Absolutely, absolutely. All living things need amino acids, but there are different types of amino acids out there. Some of them we produce ourselves, and some of them we can only get into our bodies by consuming other things. So do corals specifically need the addition of Brightwell Aquatics Coral Amino? No, they don't. But has coral amino been shown to increase tissue growth and coloration? Absolutely it has. And question number five, will my protein skimmer remove coral amino from the water? Skimmers aren't great at removing amino acids from the water column, but if you're running a really heavy skim, you will likely remove some coral amino from the water. So you might as well just turn off your protein skimmer before you feed and leave it off for at least 15 minutes so you give the corals the maximum opportunity to uptake those free form amino acids. So basically what I learned from this video is if you use Brightwell Coral Amino on a regular basis, like daily, your corals will grow faster and their colors will absolutely pop. So why not pick up a bottle, try it out, take some pictures before you start using it, and then two months later take some more pictures and you tell us whether or not it made a difference. Now is probably a really good time to pick up a bottle, so we will put a link directly down below. And as always everybody, thank you for watching. Happy reefing, be well. We'll see you next time.